lesson 7-1, ratio and proportions. This is something you've seen in algebra, and we're going to do it because it matters when we have what we call similar polygons. It's like we took the smaller polygon, multiplied by 2, and made it a bigger one, or 3, or, or 1 half, or whatever we want to do. So we're going to mess with the numbers for a while, because some of these properties are going to be a little bit surprising. And uh, they'll cause a little bit of problems, which is nice. You guys get to bang your brains around on them a little bit, see if you can handle it. So, simple enough, ratio of 8 to 12, you write 8 over 12. Which, if you ever do, I have to come and, you know, cut off your thumb or something like that, so you can never write again. Always, always write it in reduced form. And please don't ever ask me if you have to. Yes, you have to. That's, you know, something that they would kick me out of Math Teacher Association if I don't do it right. The other way to write it is like this, 2 to 3. These are equivalent. So the ratio of x to y is the same thing. For some reason, people get freaked out when they see it in fraction form. I'm not sure why. But that's it. Now, whenever you do a fraction, you have to watch out for 0 on the bottom because a variable could equal anything. Well, it can't equal 0 if it's a variable in geometry because... It represents a physical thing, and a physical thing can't have a length or, or be zero. It could be an angle of zero, so little things like that. Watch out. Don't forget that when you're messing with fractions, you can't have zero on the bottom. Don't have to worry about it now, but you never know. So we're going to be comparing two numbers, and when you do this, watch the units. Try the example on your own, and then I'll do it. So you might want to pause the recording. Now I'll do it. Width to length. The poster is 3 feet tall, which is 36 inches. And it's 18 inches wide. So width, I'll just abbreviate, to length equals 18 over 36 equals 1 half, which could be written as 1 to 2. And that's how we say it, by the way, when you put a colon, 1 to 2. One half, one to two, all equivalent. So, as I said earlier, sometimes we see it written A to B instead of A over B. You can do it with three numbers C to D, D to E, and how do we read this? C to D to E. Just getting the geometry speak done. And you can write three different ratios. So if we had 2 to 3 to 4, we could write 2 thirds. We could write 2 fourths, also known as 1 half. We could write 3 fourths. Now those are clearly not all equivalent or equal, but it depends what we're talking about. If we're talking about whenever we sell three things, soccer balls, footballs, and tennis balls, they always seem to sell in that ratio, then we would have to say soccer balls to footballs, footballs to tennis balls, or soccer to tennis balls. So we have to define what we're talking about. We can't just throw numbers out there and pray. Here's a nice example. Pause the recording, try it yourself, and then I'll do it. If the measure of the three angles of a triangle are in the ratio of 2 to 2 to 5, what are the three angles? Well, 2x plus 2x plus 5x equals 180. 9x equals 180. x equals 20. And now read the full question. Does x equal 20? Yes. Is that the three angles? No. The angles are 40 to 40 to 100, which, if you notice, adds up to 180. No, you don't have to reduce it because those are the actual angles, so you don't have to reduce them. <clears throat> now, those are all ratios. Now, we'll talk briefly about proportions. A to B equals C over D. That's proportion. Now, whenever people see this, they immediately cross-multiply. Whether they need to or not, that's their first thought. Oh, I know how to solve that, cross-multiply. That's not a bad thing, but if you could be a little intelligent about how you're doing, how you're handling your proportions, it would be helpful.
Uh, there's going to be a lot of tricky questions coming up. And if your first instinct is cross multiply everything, you may have some troubles. Notice that we have more than one ratio. We can have three, two to three equals four to six equals six to nine, dot, 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 and so on and so on. And last but not least, we can label these items, terms, in the proportion. I'm never going to do this, but just so you're aware, the first term is, is A, second term is B, third term is C, fourth term would be D, and so on. That's it. For this class, you do not need to do the in-class exercises. Just do the homework. Good luck.